so I work for the Churches Conservation Trust and I'm their estate officer for the South East region. So that involves travelling around to lots of wonderful churches all over Norfolk and Suffolk, all the way down to Surrey and Sussex um, and everywhere in between. Um, so I go around and I inspect the churches and I inspect the fabric and I produce orders for maintenance and repair of the churches. There isn't such a thing as a typical day, I don't think. Because we're a volunteer-led organisation, it really depends on what reports come back from our team of volunteers all over the 129 churches that I look after. Um, so it could be anything from sadly lead being stolen off a roof um, to uh, a concert being held in the church and they want to arrange for that so it, it, it varies it varies completely um, but lots of days I am out on site meeting with volunteers meeting with contractors I think I had um, quite an unconventional route um, into conservation I started out studying process and chemical engineering um, which I think gave me a good good background um, of kind of problem solving and analytical thinking um, and from there I studied um, building conservation and repair and then from there I moved to England and I worked as an assistant historic building surveyor which again I think I enjoyed because it gave me uh, kind of a broad understanding of things such as the planning system and how buildings work I think um, and then I received a heritage lottery funding to specialise in architectural conservation stone and plaster work in particular with um, the Institute of Conservation and Hearst Conservation in Lincolnshire. I love the buildings I think the best of all I think because I work for a trust you get very you get very attached to the buildings themselves because you know you're you're kind of involved in their in their story over a longer period of time. I think the buildings that most inspire me are vernacular buildings. There's one building in particular that I can think of, which is in Shropshire in Muchwinlock, um, and it's called Woolmer House, and it was built originally in about 1435. So it's really ancient, and it's a magnificent timber crook framed structure um, but I think what I love about it is that as you go around you can really see the lives of all the people that have lived in it over centuries and how this house this huge hulking house has kind of bowed to every whim and change of function and you know it's really it's just gorgeous how this house has evolved. The advice that I would give someone who's starting out and looking to looking to get into conservation as it were would be to to really explore old buildings in the first instance, to get out there and learn as much as you can in your own time um, about architectural styles and materials. 